Hello and welcome to another Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Today we're going to discuss a macro that we used to mount this vise or fixture onto a machine. The macro allows us to add stock, change the origin, change the position of the part. It goes in and it updates the document dialog so that all the pieces in the dialog, all the values are set properly. And as the fixture comes in as a solid, creates them as a fixture. So I'm gonna select the part here. I've already shrink wrapped it. I'm gonna go up here to my macro menu and I'm gonna select the fifth axis vice simple. Now this dialog comes up and inside the dialog are the bits that we might want to change. So first let's add some extra stock here. So we'll put some on an X, some in Y, some in Z, and some in Z minus. You can also change the part or origin. You know, where do you want to start? You know, in this case, we're going to start from the center. That's where our part starts from. And then the orientation, you know, do you want the program from the top or the bottom? And this is important that we can put the part in the vise correctly, okay? So in this case, we're gonna go from the bottom. Now, you could use the bottom of the vise if you like. Um, these are precision, so yeah, if you like the bottom, you could use parallels and we put a little input there that allows us to put in a value for the height of your parallel or you could use the top of the jaw, okay? And in our case, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the top of the jaw. We'll say okay here. And it comes up with this message that says you have exceeded the travel. And what that means is normal, the way the jaws are mounted, uh, we wanna reverse them so we have more travel. And of course, I'm gonna say yes. So we bring in the solids and you can see that the jaws have been reversed. They're all red, so that means to me that it's a, a fixture. You'll notice that when we roll it around here that we have all the stock that we typed in, so all the values that we typed in are represented there. If you look at the document dialog, all the values have been updated, including the part offset. And that's important because we want the fixture to land on the machine properly. Close that. Pick our part, we'll turn on uh, machine sim. And if we zoom around here, you'll be able to see that the fixture is now on the machine setting properly on the platter. You'll see the part there and the stock around the part. Now from here you can you know, run the part, machine it, and feel pretty confident that you can tell if it's gonna gouge, if we're gonna hit anything. All these things um, are set for you now, okay? So for any questions about this or any other things, Gibbs, please contact your local reseller for more information.